prompted by a story you first saw here on News 8. A group is calling for stronger policies after the clear cutting of a section of woods near Eagle Creek. News 8's Katie Wisely is in the newsroom with a very clear message from the Indiana Forest Alliance this morning. Katie, good morning. Good morning. They want stronger public strategies and ordinances to protect urban forests critical to Marion County's environmental future. Indiana Forest Alliance Urban Policy Director Jerome Delbridge says we need community input and partnerships with residents and city leaders. Together, we will develop best approaches to keep forests working for Indianapolis. The nonprofit says the loss of trees point to the importance of their new project, which determines what urban forests are crucial. A new report will rank Indy's most environmentally significant woods. That will lead to community and neighborhood meetings to figure out how to preserve high value areas. The new report will be released within a month. The six acres of trees were cut last month near the 7400 block of West 34th Street after the property was acquired by a new private owner. That area is now bare, which you can see. Neighbors in the Homeowners Association say they're stunned. News 8 checked the city's website and the land is HOA registered with Indianapolis for that address. However, landowners do not pay any fees to the HOA. The HOA president said he should have been notified of a proposal before any work was done. News 8 also checked with the Indianapolis Department of Metropolitan Development. They said they were not notified of any plans to develop the property. And while they might have approved the action, no permits were ever requested. Neighbors say by the time a stop order citing a failure to obtain a drainage permit was put in place, the trees were already gone. We reached out to the landowner and his attorney and both refused to talk on camera, but a letter from his attorney said he is willing to comply with valid legal obligations and it remains unclear from the city if he had to obtain a permit for tree removal. Now, a big concern for the city is the potential loss of heritage trees, which are certain breeds of trees that are more than 18 inches in width at chest height and can't be cut down without permission. For every heritage tree removed, the city requires eight more to be planted in their place. It is not clear if any were removed in this process. The city said they will now evaluate the property. Katie Wisely, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook. Katie, thank you. 808 now.